Hey everybody, it's Officer Bosco. Welcome back today to Police 10-8 Talk. Uh, today I'm going to be going over, once again, a new product that I've added to my belt. Uh, actually, something I've had to added to my Safari Land holster. Uh, it's going to be made by a company called Oregon Trail Defense. And as you can see, the bugs are just absolutely horrible here today. So you see me swatting every once in a while. Uh, anyways, and it's going to be the Nub Mod, is what they call it. Okay. Um, basically what it is, if you have a Safari Land holster, you know that you, if you have an ALS holster, you have this little piece up that you have to push down to release the gun to get it out because it locks onto the ejection port. Okay, Oregon Trail Defense came up with a modification for which I think is ingenious. I've never seen it before, but as soon as I saw it, I bought one. Uh, basically what it does is you have the little piece that comes up from the ALS holster. And what this does, this is just a little two-piece, um, I believe it's aluminum. Uh, part that all you do is you literally just put it over the top of that piece make sure it's locked in there good and you literally just put a screw in the side and now you have an extension and basically when you're drawing from these holsters let me tell you something that makes a world of difference uh, my holster as you can see is a level one ALS uh, they actually make one for a level uh, for the ALS SLS which is probably the more popular model which has the ALS piece but it's also got the hood okay now there is one specifically made for the ALS, and then there's one made for those holsters as well. You need to make sure you get the one that says the SLS holster on their website. Okay, and there's one other little particular as well. These, uh, these only work on the newer model uh, retention, ALS retention pieces. Okay, the older ones, <coughs> instead of just having a piece coming straight up, they actually have a piece that goes over on the older, older ALS models, which actually I had one. Um, it actually had a little piece on the top, okay? The newer ones are just a flat piece that come up, okay? It's completely flat. That's the piece you need the new ones, okay? Not an old one. They actually show you this on their website. Conveniently, they also sell these on the website. If not, you can get them from Safari Land. I think they're like five bucks, six bucks. They're not very expensive. Um, like I said, Oregon Trail Defense is the name of the company, and they actually sell these as well. But the great thing about them is it gives you a lot more purchase when you're trying to hit that with your thumb. And then let me tell you something, drawing from it, it makes a big difference. Because I have short fingers. So it makes a big difference when I'm drawing my handgun. Hitting that little nub, it makes a big, big difference. Actually, this almost brings it up almost to the height of the gun, whereas the other one's a little bit slightly below it. Um, so it makes a little bit of difference. What I did too is I also, when I put it together, I put a little bit of skateboard tape just on the top just to give me a little bit of grittiness, which is working out really well for me. Um, they also make one specifically for 1911s because of the fact that you have this, basically you have the, um, the uh, safeties on the um, 1911s. So they make one specifically for holsters that take 1911s that are ALS holsters and SLS holsters. So anyways, uh, retail I believe is $32.95 I believe for both models. Like I said, make sure you know if you got the SLS hood, make sure you order that model because it's slightly thinner. That way it won't affect the hood. It'll be out of the way enough to where it won't affect the hood on there. So, And like I said, make sure you got one of the new ALS pieces for this. But like I said, if you order, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. This is, this is a great great addition for this holster and works great. And like I said, it's called the, it's called the uh, Nub Mod. And like I said, it's made by a company called Oregon Trail Defense. Uh, I think their website is www.otdefense.com. Uh, so... Make sure to basically check this product out. If you got one of these Safari Land holsters, I guarantee you will not regret it. Anyways, this is Officer Bosco. Welcome back to Police 10 8 Talk. Still swatting the bugs. Uh, welcome to Florida in August, or September actually. Um, anyways, uh, just give us a like or subscribe. Remember to come back and check us out. And remember to be safe and watch your six.